there! Welcome back to our final video of the week where we are going to take a look at two examples of each operation when we add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. So let's get started. Our first example is going to be an adding fractions example. If so if you want to do this with me, you may certainly copy it down. All right, so since we are adding, um, I do see that we have common denominators already. So the only thing that we have to concentrate on is simply adding our numerators together. Because as we said, when we have a like denominator, it simply just comes straight down. So now that we add this together, 11 plus 7 is 18. So now, when we're trying to do this without a calculator to take an improper fraction and make it a mixed number, we have to divide. Um, our numerator divided by our denominator. So 16 times what gets you at 18 or below it? Well, that's obviously 1. So then we multiply it and we get 16. And now we subtract. 8 minus 6 is 2. Once again, these are three important numbers that you're going to need because the quotient 1 is your whole number. The divisor 16, that is your denominator and the two is your numerator. Now, when you see your numerator and denominator are both even numbers, that should send a big red flag up that says, hey, I need simplified. So because we have a two in the numerator, it's going to be pretty obvious that we're going to divide by two to both um, top and bottom. So two divided by two is one and 16 divided by two is eight. So our answer of one and one eighth is correct. All right, so let's go ahead and clear this off and try another one. Now, again, as I'm erasing this, don't be afraid to pause the video, rewind it, go back, take a look at this example again. You can always do the example with me, um, you know, or if you wanted to, you know, pause the video and try it on your own, see if we get the right answer, you're more than welcome to do that. These videos are always accessible on the school district website. Uh, many of your teachers Google Classrooms and um, also the, um, yeah, those two places. Sorry, I thought there was a third. All right, so our next example is going to involve some mixed numbers. All right, so let's take a look at this first example, two and one sixth plus seven and one eighteenth. And again, excuse my handwriting. I know the uh, stylus pen is not cooperating with me here. So we have unlike denominators. So that means that we are going to have to find an equivalent fraction on the right hand side of this. Now, when we add and subtract, um, normally we do not do anything with our whole numbers. So we just bring them straight across. Now our common denominator, our LC M is our LCD, if you remember that from the other day. 18 and 6, the least common denominator of those two numbers, is going to be 18. So obviously, 18 to 18, you multiply it by 1. So on the top, we'll multiply it by 1, and we'll keep the same fraction. Now, up top, we have 6 to 18. Well, how do you get there? You multiply by 3. So what I did to the bottom, I do to the top. 1 times 3 is... 3. And we are ready to now add our numbers. So 2 plus 7 is 9. The 18 and 18 comes straight down as they are. And the 3 plus 1 is 4. Now once again, 4 and 18 are both even numbers. So that tells me that I need to simplify. Now what are you going to be able to simplify by? What are the, what's the greatest common factor of 4 and 18? Well, that would be 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 and 2 ninths is your final answer. All right, let's move on to our next example, which is going to be some subtracting examples. Our first one is a mixed number, 5 and 7 tenths. Minus 1 and 1 tenth. Now, as you can see already, we have like denominators. So there is nothing major that we have to do for this. We're just going to simply subtract our whole numbers. 5 minus 1 is 4. Denominator comes straight down as it is. And 7 minus 1 is 6. Once again, even numbers tell us that we're going to have to simplify. The greatest common factor of 6 and 10 is 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 
10 divided by 2 is 5. 4 and 3 fifths is our answer. All right, since uh, we didn't really have to do anything, you know, too extensive on that problem, we're going to stay on the same screen and do our next problem here. Two thirds minus four ninths. All right, so now I see that we have unlike denominators, which means that we're going to have to use our LCM experience to come up with our least common denominator. Our least common denominator of nine and three is actually nine, which makes it easy because our bottom fraction just simply comes over since we multiply it by one. And how do we go from three to nine on the top? Well, we simply multiply by three. And then we're gonna do the same to the top. Two times three is six. So now we're ready to subtract. Our denominator comes straight down. 6 minus 4 is 2. Two ninths have no common factors, so that is your final answer. All right, let's move on to our multiplying and dividing fractions. Remember, one of the major differences between multiplying and dividing fractions is that in adding and subtracting, we go vertically down, up and down. With multiplying and dividing, we go straight across, left to right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first multiplication example. Two-thirds times three-fifths. And again, we're coming straight across. So two times three along the top is six. And along the bottom, three times five is 15. Now, if you know your factors, six and 15 can both be divided by three. So six divided by three is two. And 15 divided by three is five. Our answer of two fifths is our final answer. All right, now I'm going to have to erase this example because our next example is going to uh, involve quite a bit of work. Our next example is going to involve mixed numbers and then our answer is also gonna need simplified. So I'm gonna show you how to simplify that with our dividing process. So copy this down and with me if you'd like, one and one third times three and one half. All right, so underneath, again, a lot of you might be accustomed to hearing the circle method. Well, once again, we're trying to use proper terminology and proper vocabulary. So we want to say we're going to convert our mixed number to an improper fraction by multiplying the bottom denominator with the mixed number. Three times one is three. Then you take that answer, that product, and add it to the numerator. So three plus one. Four thirds is our conversion for the first fraction. Our second fraction will be six plus one, seven halves. All right, now we are going to come straight across with that seven times four, 28. And along the bottom, three times two is six. Now we have to divide this now. So we're gonna come over here since again, we're trying not to use a calculator. 28 divided by six. So 28 times, or I'm sorry, six times, four is 24, six times five is 30, 30 is too high. So we're gonna go with four. So we said six times four was 24. Now we're going to subtract these eight minus four is four. So again, I like to always circle these important numbers here so that we know the quotient on the top, the four is going to be our mixed number, all right? The six is going to be our Denominator, as you can see, that's what it was over here. Okay, and then our four in the remain, our four remainder is going to be our numerator. All right, so let me get this out of here, um, so it can have some more room now. And we're going to need to simplify because, as you can see, both of these are even numbers. So nothing ever happens with the mixed, or I'm sorry, the whole number. Now the four and the six are both divided. Uh, by two. So four divided by two is two. Six divided by two is three. And again, two thirds cannot be simplified because if you remember from my previous video earlier in the week, I said when two numbers are um, in order numerically, that means the fraction cannot be simplified. All right. So that is our final multiplication example. Let's move on to division now. Our first uh, example is seven ninths divided by two thirds. Now, if you remember, 
we never divide fractions. We multiply the reciprocal. So if you remember that word reciprocal from the other day, um, that basically just means to flip the fraction. So we never do anything with the first fraction if it's, you know, a normal looking fraction. If it's a mixed number, which you'll see in the next example, we have to do some things. But in this case, we do not. So 7 ninths, second fraction, does not have a mixed number or anything involved with it. So we're just going to now change our division to a multiplication symbol. And we're going to reciprocate the second fraction. So instead of 2 thirds, it's now 3 over 2. Once again, with multiplying fractions, come straight across. 7 times 3 is 21. 9 times 2 is 18. We're going to have to do our division work up here. 21 divided by 18. 18 times 1 gets you 18. All right, subtract these. 1 minus 8, can't do it, but keep it. Go to your neighbor and borrow one and bring it back. 11 minus 8 is 3. So our answer of 1 and 3. 1 and 3 18 is our answer. Now we're going to simplify. 1 and then 3 and 18 can both divide by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 18 divided by 3 is 6. That is our final answer. All right, so we have one more example to take a look at here. So let's erase this now. And as we're getting ready to take a look at this next example, we are going to be seeing some mixed numbers. So once again, when you see mixed numbers, you have to be asking yourself, um, how do I convert that mixed number to an improper fraction? Because you, can, you cannot multiply or divide a mixed number. You need to have a improper fraction. And a lot of times we might think that that's not okay. Um, during the problem, it is okay to have an improper fraction, but once you get down to your answer is where you need to worry about simplifying and converting it to a mixed number. So, 5 and 1 half. Oh, you know what? I'm going to start that one over because that was a really bad 5. There we go. My stylus pen is really not working with me this morning. All right, so 5 and 1 half divided by 2 and 1 third. All right, so we're going to convert this mixed number from um, 5 and 1 half into an improper fraction by multiplying the 2 times 5, and that's 10, and then adding the 10 plus 1, 11 over 2. Now, I do not change my division sign yet. I still keep that as a division sign because I am not ready to reciprocate it yet. Two times, I'm sorry, three times two is six. Six plus one is seven. So this now becomes seven thirds. All right, so now we are ready to change it to a multiplication problem by reciprocating that second fraction. So instead of seven thirds, it's now three sevenths. And we're going to come straight across now, 11 times 3. We know that that's a double, and that's 33. And 2 times 7 is 14. All right. I have no idea why my stylus pen does not want to work today. I'm sorry about that. I have to go really slow for it to catch up. So 33 divided by 14. And 14 times 2, a lot of you might have thought 1, but 14 times 2 is actually 28. Okay, I'm going to get rid of some of these other screens first. Sorry, I apologize for that. I'm wondering if my computer is running a little bit slow this morning because I have too many windows open. So let's get back to our problem now. 3 minus 8, I can't do it, but I keep it. I go to my neighbor, I borrow one. And then I bring it back. 13 minus 8 is 5. All right, so now our um, mixed number is 2 and 5 fourteenths. All right, and 5 fourteenths have no common factors with them, so they do not simplify, and that is your final answer.
All right, so I hope that you um, really learned a lot from these videos this week. And once again, these videos are available on the school district website, as well as on many of your teachers' Google Classrooms. So take this opportunity to rewind the video, do the problems again um, on your own, check yourself, um, do them with me, whichever you feel comfortable, and good luck on this week's problems. Thanks.